Heck with it. I'm going live. Oh, hold on. Echo, echo. Android did like an update. Why? Why won't you just be silent? I don't know how to fix this now. So hide it down here. I, I want to, I have my phone on standby here because I'm going to take it over and show you a preview of what's coming up in the live sale tomorrow. They're still here. <laughs> They're still here. Um, I'm just going to smile. Okay. So I may have to say goodbye to the plumbers at some point during this. So let's, let's unbox some stuff. Oh, we won't get through all of this and I can't even lift the box. It's a huge box and it's all salt and peppers. And I got to tell you, this is from the, what the hail auction and they sell things in bulk. They buy things in storage lockers and then they sell them on Sunday nights on their channel in a live auction. It's how I figured out some of my live auction formatting. They are wonderful, wonderful mentors to me. That's really loud. Um, and um, so <laughs> they allowed me to actually like put a link to my channel in their chat because people wanted individual ones of some of these salt and peppers and they were selling them in bulk. I don't know. I forget how many there are in here, but there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Um, so I will not be selling all of them in tomorrow's live sale, uh, but I'm going to include some and I'm going to do them probably well, I don't know. Let's do some live research. Let's just hang out. Let's just chill. Let's just let's just make this casual tonight. And we'll go through a few and we'll we'll do a little live research for those who want to know how to look up how much is I'm sitting here unwrapping some they're all individually wrapping. So before I get started, um trying to get to some of the really good ones. But everyone is in paper and bubble wrap. And so we're stressing out a little bit because, so the plumbers are fixing, um, you know how you pull up the little, there's a little knob you pull up so that the water comes out of the shower. So we were pulling that up, but the water wasn't completely coming out of the shower. It was still coming out of the faucet. So they had to like totally take that apart and, do, I, and they had to use some kind of a solvent and that solvent is really strong. And um, Rachel and I are kind of freaking out because we've got the air purifiers going. We've got windows open. So she's actually messaging me. It's just like, isn't there a window in the bathroom you can open? That's like, yes, Rachel, it's already open, but it's still really strong out here. So we have to protect the birds. And I'm, I am, I'm very nervous about the birds right now because the smell is like it smells giving me a headache it's so strong when you have birds like the, the the things that you wouldn't even hardly think about you know that are like safe for human uh can kill a bird like really quick like we're changing out all of our cookware we didn't worry about it at the last house because we were two-story and the birds were upstairs and all the cooking took place downstairs but now that we're all on one level, we're super aware of things. Noah doesn't cook on high heat. Noah does all the cooking. He doesn't cook on high heat because it's when you overheat the nonstick Teflon, it creates fumes that can kill birds. So birds are super sensitive. Candles. Um, uh oh, this doesn't. Uh oh, it may. Okay. I was like, it's rattling. It must be broken. Oh, this one's really cute. Look at that. Look at this one. Little luster wear. He's adorable. Um, so yeah, birds, birds are super, super sensitive. So the there's only one type of candle that I will use. They are made by a friend of mine um, who really, really sadly has stopped making her candles. So I bought a case of her candles before she went out of business. Um, 
And sadly, it was uh, Cousin Rona that kind of threw her out of business because the majority of her sales were wholesale accounts to hotel boutiques and um, just different high-end shopping places. So they, you know, they stopped their orders to her because they don't have the customers. Okay, I think I have enough of these. Oh, those are really cute. Let me see some of these. So um, I'm hoping that when somehow, some way we get this world back to normal that she can get back to business because her candles are amazing. They're objects with purpose candles. They're all natural ingredients. And when they're, when they're hot, the, the liquid wax can be used as like a massage oil. And when they're cold, you can rub it in your hands like a hand yep. cream. Oh, I'm being paged. Yes. We will be right back. Oh. I'm gonna go grab one more thing. Okay. Sorry. No problem. Always more parts. Always more parts. Okay, so let's start looking at some of these that I've unwrapped. So, I mean, some of them are like uh, these little, you know, the boots with Oklahoma. These are going to appeal to somebody, you know, from Oklahoma. These on their own, not a great resale value. And then we've got, <laughs> these are really cute. Oh, wait. No way. These are Joseph Originals. These are Joseph Originals. Check this out. Look at that. Here, let me just show you one. See the little taggy tag under there? But they're made in Korea. So Joseph Originals have kind of a history of being made in different places. Um, and I think I showed um, in when I was doing the glass thing. Was it the glass? No. I don't even remember what video it was in. But I talked to you about the Joseph Original, the little girl figurines. And what you want to watch for is the ones with the black eyes. The black eyes were during the time where Miriam Joseph was actually in charge of things. And then I'm, no, I'm going to try not to screw this up. So then the history is that they started to be knocked off in Japan. And instead of battling, they embraced that and they went and worked with the Japanese to make them the manufacturer, distributor. So, but what happened then in the later years, they turned to have brown eyes versus black. So the ones that you see with the brown eyes, those are later, not as valuable. The ones with black eyes are good. So I did not even know that they made salt and pepper shakers. You guys want to do a little little live research here oh, hold on let me i did not share a screen yet let me let's see i have so many windows open let me close some windows <laughs> let me just close some windows there we go all right it's been a day um i was looking up i was so on thursdays over in the niche to profit group I do a thread called Throwback Thursday where I help you decide if an item that's been listed a long time is just not ever going to sell or if there's things we can tweak and do to it. And so I've been looking stuff up. All right, let me share, share screen, share. Okay. Wow. 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 StreamYard, what are you doing? Whoa! What is that? Oh, because it tried... I don't know what's going on there. That was really weird. Okay, stop. That was bizarre. That was bizarre. I tried to share it to my phone screen. That was... <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but <laughs> all right. Let me. Bum, bum, bum. 
bam, blow it up. All right, well, so let's look this thing up. Joseph Originals, salt, and pepper. Look at that. Oh, geez, I got stuff all over my desk now. Let's look at that. So again, I love to search by highest first. We are in what is listed. My, 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 my. Penguins. My, my, my. Who'd have who'd thunk? Okay, did you guys know this? Did you guys know any of this? Ah, you just got a ka -ching. Yay. I am just getting off of my time away tomorrow. I'm still, I didn't, I didn't reach my goal of unpacking today. Didn't do it. It's just been an insane day. Okay. Now we're getting down to the $20 range, but let's go look at solds. Boop. So the little snow peoples, about 30 bucks, 30 bucks for Santa. Huh? Did not even know. Look at that. Ballerinas. So because these are little piggies, I would bet these are in the $25 to $30 range. So what that tells me is I probably won't group these up with anything else. I'll just sell these on their own. Now, you know what I say when you get down to these lower amounts, ignore, 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 ignore. Well, look at that. Who knew? Who knew? Is it done? No, it's not done, Noah, and I am live. You want to come say hi? Everybody knows you now. Come on, peek your little head over here. Say hi. There he is. Hello. Here's my little guy. <laughs> no, they had to go get another part. So, not done. Not done yet. <laughs> disco segment? What? Disco segment. Did I? Did I do a disco segment? Hmm. He's a good kid. He's a good, he's a good kid. All right. So we know that uh, Joseph Original Piggies. Good. Well, now I've got elephants. And some of these two um, might end up in some mystery boxes. But look at these little elephants. Now these are just uh, marked Japan on the bottom. So something like that. I know I have a lot of elephant lovers kind of looking at them. This way you could sell stuff was mass marketed when they just make little, little manufacturing mistakes, you know, like up in the glaze and stuff. Kind of funny. Oh, the flashing screen was the disco segment. <laughs> okay, you guys want to know a little secret? You want to know a little secret? You know what I've always, always wanted? I've always wanted a genuine disco ball in my office. I have. I don't know why. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. Okay. Um, let me... Let's look up the elephant. I'm trying to show you guys like how I research. This is I'm this is it. This is the first time I've seen these in person in my hands. So we've got 194 results. Look at that. Look at some of these salt and peppers sell for big money. Look at this. What is this? $79 shipping. What is this? See, that just looks like a seller doing something unscrupulous right there. All right, let's go look. I don't know. Curiosity. Let's go see sellers' other items. Oh, look at that. Nothing. Let's go look at their sold listings. This is no bueno. <laughs> There's something wrong here. And I know none of you have listings that look like this. This is bad. This is this is how not to make money on eBay. This is just bad. But what is this? What is this? <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. <sighs> little little tangent there. Why can't I get back to? Oh. 
All right. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm easily distracted. Those are kind of similar. Kind of. So, so, look at salt and pepper shakers can sell for some good money. This is so cool. So obviously I'm not seeing these yet, which is good. I like not finding the ones I'm looking for. I like that. That means they're more rarer, rarer. <laughs> they're more rarer. No, I don't think that was a money laundering account that you would think. I think that was just someone who needs to watch more YouTube videos about how to sell online. <laughs> Oh, you'd be surprised how many of those I run across. All right. So now we're getting down to where, like, I don't care what they say. These are worth more than that. I I would list these if they were mine. I would list these for $29.99. That's what I would do. Because you know what? They're super cute. But no, they will be in tomorrow's sale for a starting bid of $1.00. One dollar, because that's what I do. And then I got some. I got chickens with. This one's got the cork inside. This one not so much. I gotta find some of the little replacement corks. This is a a rooster and a hen. Just a boy and a girl, and they are also marked made in Japan. So a lot of these are made in Japan. I'm not going to look up every single one of these. You guys kind of know how I look stuff up now. If we get some super, super special ones, we'll look them up. Oh, here's some art pottery ones. Check this out. So they've got the corks are in the side, and they are they are signed, whatever that says, Brenner, G. Brenner, or Bruner. See, they're Bunner, Bunner, Brenner, or Bruner, something like that. <laughs> Amazon sells the cork. You know what I would really like to do, though, is I'd like to find vintage corks. I'd like to find corks that are probably not out there, though, is there? Has anybody, anybody ever seen him sell those? I really like this guy. I don't know if these are his original. I don't think these are the salt and peppers that are original to him. I think he would have had something else because these look more modern to me and he is made in Japan. Made in Japan. There we go. Um, well, and let's look up. I mean, oh, that's bad. Is it, is it becoming apparently obvious how tired I am tonight? <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay, let me put in, let, oh, I'm not, see, I'm not even sharing my screen here. Lester Ware, bird, salt and pepper. So we got those. Oh, those are super cute. Okay. Nothing like this guy, though. Hmm. I've had those. Sure. All right, then you got international. Let me just go over and look at Ooh, there's a lot more if you just put in bird. Mm -hmm. I just really wanted to find it so that I could see what the original shakers were. Yeah, maybe I need to put in duck or goose. Let's put in duck or goose. Maybe that's it. Maybe let's put in duck. He looks like, oh, not a Dubuque. <laughs> not a Dubuque. <laughs> He's a duck. <laughs> and 
See, it kind of looks like that, but I bet you, I bet you there was these little, little shakery things. I'm telling you, he had little birds. I'm telling you, it was probably these little birds that went with the big bird. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. There was chicks. Okay, so now we know these were, these are like I thought, like I thought. Was there not the original sicko with that? That's well, kind of a bummer. Go over there. All right, let's unwrap some more. It is such a yeah, I thought stork at first, but storks have a sharp bill, not a rounded bill. So it's more like a duck. It's more like a duck. Spirit Recovery Yoga with Tina Carpenter. Hello. So glad to have you here. Yes, I am on Pacific time. Okay, so we've got some more souvenir kind of like state ones. These are New Mexico. So I'll probably end up putting the souvenir ones together in a lot. Because you can still get like 10 bucks a piece for those when you resell them. Especially like if you have a booth or something. So I... I think she'd be okay with me saying this. I'm pretty sure she would. So I had a conversation with my friend Yvonne, Thrifty Rich, today, who those of you who follow Yvonne know that she is in the process of uh, moving stuff into a booth. She started out with a showcase at the antique mall, and now she's moving up to a booth. And I talked to her today. She was literally like waiting for her husband to drive the car and take stuff to the booth. So um, she needs a few weeks to settle in, but then we are going to do a discussion about selling an antique mall booth probably in about three to four weeks. She needed some time, but we're going to do that. We're totally going to do that. We're going to have a conversation about that um, because it can be good, but it can be, it can take money from you too. So you have to know how to determine what your local market is going to buy and what to stock your booth with. Okay. Here we have a few more. I love this one. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's a bulldog with a bone. What? <laughs> he's a made in Taiwan. You know, he's vintage, but he's not, he's not super old, but that, that's amazing. I love him. And then we have some owls. We have some little owls. Hoo, hoo. Um, they have the plastic bottoms. And then we've got some more piggies. I might put some of these piggies all together unless you tell me, no, don't do it. Like these are just made in China piggies. So what do you think? Would they like take away if I added them with the other piggies that are actually Joseph originals? You guys tell me. You guys tell me. Or if because it's a pig, it's totally okay. I like the colors of the owls too. Oh, my mom made it over. Hello, mom. I know. I can't believe you got rid of all your dogs. I cannot believe it. Do you do well with salt and pepper shakers? I haven't done good at all. Yeah, it's really, it depends on the salt and pepper shakers. There's, oh, this is, I'm, we're getting a little salt and pepper going in this one. All right, let me just put that over to the trash because we are spilling salt and pepper. Now, these are interesting. They are vintage because they've got the cork bottoms. That one looks like it got wet, um, but they're not marked. So kind of plain, but kind of cool, actually. I kind of. Kind of, if I say kind of one more time, I'm kind of going to like smack my own face here. 
I like the color though. I like the color a lot. Not all of them. I have the big sandy cast dog still and one oldie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But okay, so those of you who don't know, my mom is Bobby Bushy over in the chat. And she used to have the entire house filled with dog figurines. And then she <laughs> she figured out eBay, man. She went to town. She sold dogs. <laughs> Oh, G Brenner. There's a G. There's a Gene Brenner in Florida. Oh, well, that would make sense because he's came out of Florida. Imagine that. That's very cool. Oh, I haven't sold salt and peppers. I'm trying to think. I'm before I say that. Have I sold salt and peppers in my book? Yes, I have. Animal ones. Animal ones. Yeah. My mom was dogs and my and my grandma was cows. Oh my gosh. So we went through Burger King this evening because Rachel was hungry. And um, my, for those who know, my store is utterly good stuff and it's got a cow theme. And so I got a debit card that has a cow on it because you get to pick nowadays, right? And so I'm paying for the Burger King. And the cashier, she's like, oh, my gosh, I love your card. She says, I'm obsessed with cows. And so she said I was her new favorite customer because my debit card had cows on. It was so cute. It was, it was very pleasant. Did I win anything on the auction yesterday? I did not. I did not. Everything was like full retail. But I did win some stuff on another online auction today that I have to go pick up tomorrow morning. Um, I got more piggies, more piggies. I don't know. Did you guys answer me? Should I do like a whole piggy lot? Yes or no? Piggy lot or not? Piggy lot or separate out the Joseph original or just put all the piggies together for somebody who likes piggies. And then we, oh, these are kind of heavy. Got these little sunbonnet girls. Look at those. They're just um, made in China, but they're cute. Little sunbonnet girls there. And these I love. These are one of the ones I saw that I'm a little torn about selling because they're so cute, the little chickies. And we're getting we're getting ready to, well, not anytime very soon, but we want to add some chickens to our little family. I used to have chickens. Um, we, we had chickens when I was raising the horses. <laughs> okay. You guys want to hear a super funny story? It's actually anybody, anybody over in the chat, tell me if you, uh, have chickens. Do I have any chicken, chicken people? I did get a super chat. Thank you, Melissa. Oh, which ones was that Lindsay? Um, I don't know which ones I was talking about that you said you like, but thank you. Thank you for the super chat. That is much appreciated. Thank you for calling my attention to that. Oh, these are okay. These are more souvenir ones, but they're kind of cool. Look at these like the wood grain. They say, <laughs> they say salt and pepper on top. Um, I like those. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So here's my funny story. So we had roosters and we had chickens. And when you have roosters and you have chickens and you don't collect the eggs, pretty soon you have more chickens, which uh, is all fine and good until a lot of them turn out to be roosters. So we were getting uh, too many of the boys running around and we decided, let's see, it was, um, I can't remember if it was Jennifer or Jordan's birthday. I want to say, I want to say it was Jordan's birthday, my daughter, Jordan. Anyway, so we're going to get this great idea that we're going to have 
homegrown barbecued chicken. Sounds great, right? So we gather up all the boys and we didn't do it ourselves. We, we took them to uh, this sweet lady down the street who uh, is astute at butchering chickens. And so we gather all up, you know, that she plucked them and did all that and we barbecued them. Well, this is when we discovered that if you free range your chickens, they're very lean. And when they're very lean, the meat is tough as nails. <laughs> So we had all of these people over for this barbecue and we served this chicken and nobody could eat it. It was terrible. It was like chicken jerky. We had to run to KFC and get buckets of chicken to feed everybody. <laughs> that is when we decided that our, our days of actually like, you know, raising up the chickens to eat them was over. We, uh, we would take it to the livestock auction after that. <laughs> yeah, and we had um, we had this one chicken, a hen. We called her Mama Hen. Mama Hen, really, you know, creative name. She taught all the dogs to leave chickens alone. She was ferocious, ferocious. I mean, you did not mess with Mama Hen. Mm -mm. When she had a clutch of babies, uh, she, there's yeah, she was she was vicious. She taught all the dogs that you don't mess with chickens. It's awesome. Oh, wild turkey! I can imagine wild turkey would be the same. I can imagine they're just lean. They're not you know they're they're eating they're be eating sparse. Okay, I got enough of these unpacked while I was yakking. We've got some. What's where's Does that say, I want to say Apache land, Apache land, <laughs> um, made in USA. Where would that be, guys? Where would that be? Those are interesting, huh? Corks are missing. Those are interesting. How about some hamburgers? We got some hamburgers. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Where is that considered? And is that politically correct nowadays? Oh, this is a bummer. These got a little bit damaged, these little glass ones. They're missing some of their paint. Well, that's what I'm thinking, but where would that be? I don't know. And I know that's not... Ah, you know what? These... These would probably sell really good right now. Um, it's a hot topic. I mean, it's the Capitol building. And what's this called? Is this the Lincoln Monument? I'm so bad. Oh, Oklahoma? Oh, Arizona? I don't know. Tortoise love to eat chickens. My sister had turkey chicks that kept disappearing. Oh, tortoise. My tortoises would not. No, no. Um, minor desert tortoises. Maybe a sulcata would do that. There's, there's different breeds of tortoises, and yes, some of them are more carnivorous. My guys aren't. They're very, very picky eaters. Very picky eaters. Um. The Washington, oh, it's the Washington Monument. Yeah, these might, these might do okay right now because I'm just saying, it's kind of a thing right now. And these are cool. Look at these. Oh, these are marked HH. Who knows what HH stands for? Let's see if anybody in chat knows what HH is before I tell you. It's a movie ranch in Arizona. Oh, well, okay. That's cool. Why did I not know you were in Arizona, Tiger Purple? What was I thinking? 
You were tiger purple. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Melissa got it. And junk in her trunk. Diana K got it. And Dedalia Camellia got it. And Cheryl Ross got it. There, Holt Howard. Holt Howard. Kind of stylistic eagle thing going on there. Those are kind of cool. Let's look those up. That'd be a fun one to look up. Oh, here we go. I'm pushing the wrong buttons. And these plumbers are still not back. And it's very much going to frustrate me because I'm going to go to bed sometime tonight. All right. So I know a lot of you, when you search for something, you want to put in like the whole thing you want to put in. Holt Howard Eagle or Holt Howard Bird. Don't do that. Simplify your search first. Holt Howard Salt and Pepper. Let's go there. 231 results in active. Look at that. We got some high prices going there. And we come down to souls. How is that possible? Hold on. Hold the fort. Let me go back and look at that number again. Wow. 231 active. These, this is a heavy, heavy sell through item. Holt Howard salt and peppers are a thing. They're a thing. They have a Scandinavian MCM look about them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Well, so let's look at a little Holt Howard action here. You guys seeing this? This is like we create bolos right here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Good stuff. Is this good? Oh, those are really cute. I really like those. Yeah, yeah. Lots of Christmas. Oh, look at those. Wowza, wowza, wowza. So now I might go up just to speed this up. I'm going to try. They look more like a hawk than an eagle to me. Let's see. Nope. Let's see if they're eagle. Nope. Let's see if they're bird. Mm. There's the only birds. And again, you know how I love when I can't find something. Oh, what? Why? Why are those only $19? No, 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 no. Come on now. See, I would ignore that. I would list these at 50 bucks. I'd list them at 50 bucks. I'm telling you right now, I would ignore this. Let these sell. Let them get out of the way because you notice there are none others other than that one listing. Totally ignore that. It's what, what? Spelling error? Where what? Oh, oh, <laughs> you guys, there's a spelling error over there. <laughs> See, this is what I'm telling you guys. You can ignore. If you're doing your search and you go, 1898? But you just saw all those Holt Howards that are up in the hundreds. There is no reason you have to list yours for a low price. You can list these for 50 bucks all day long. And as soon as that one gets out of the way and sells, then yours is the only one available. Boom. That was crazy. It's like I almost want to go buy those. <laughs> Just get them out of the way. All right, let's check what else that seller has listed. Should we do that? Is that bad? Should we do that? What do you guys think? I don't want to I don't want to be mean. I'll see what the consensus is. I don't ever like to do anything that's not like ethical. I mean, you guys could pretty much figure out it's the only ones that listed, so just do it. You're like, just do it. Do it. Do it, Danny. Go do it. <laughs> okay, let's go do it. You know what? I already pulled it up. <laughs> okay, so best match. Let's go with their newly list. I like newly listed. Let's see what they're listing. Look at this. A Fenton Hobnail Salt. 
Wow. I mean, these aren't like outstanding, outstanding pieces, but they price pretty cheap. Let's go look at their category over here. Let's look at pottery and glass. Got 143 things in pottery and glass. I really like this set. I actually really like that set. You know, they don't have anything mind blowing unless they've already sold it. Okay, they're Rirano's up there in price. A few things like this. This, I can tell you that. That's pretty cheap for uh, opalescent Vaseline Northwood. That's pretty crazy. Check their solds. Okay, let's check their solds. Let's see what they're selling. Solds. Oh! <laughs> their shipping is pretty high for me. Looks like they are on the East Coast or Florida or somewhere over there. But look, oh, look at that. Snow, dehydrated snowflake. That's pretty cute. Pretty cheap prices, actually, yeah. I mean, there are different ways. Okay, well, that's good. They got their cameo glass for almost 80. Some goofus glass. I like goofus glass. All right, so not all their prices are too low. They're, they're pricing to sell. Uh, you know, there are sellers who just want to sell, sell, sell. I want to sell for higher prices and ship less. That's my claim to fame. And there's, that's the difference in different retail policies. Policies was not the word I was looking for. Um, you know, you've got the, for lack of a better word, you've got the Walmarts where it's selling mass quantities of stuff at low prices. So they're making their money on lower margins and more sales. And then you have higher end stores, you know, you're like boutique stores, your your anthropology type stores who are making their money on uh, fewer sales, but bigger margins. So it's just different ways of doing it. Yeah. You're a bird dox. Bird dox. We don't have bird dox. I don't know what bird dox is. I don't, I don't shop boutiques. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a Goodwill kind of girl. I don't even remember the last time I paid full retail for anything. Unless you, unless you want to count Amazon as full retail. I do buy a lot of stuff on Amazon. I cheaped out on like these beds for my kids. I actually thought I was doing really good. They, they're like, they're the bed frame that has the um, bookcase in it. And they have drawers and a bookcase because we have to maximize space. Well, took my handyman three hours to put the first one together. Three hours. So all of my savings kind of went out the window. But okay. Oh, these guys are cute, but a little banged up, but super cute. Look at the carrots. They're big too. Here's the bottoms. I like them. I like the carrots. They are very cute. I'll put the carrots with the hamburgers. And then we've got these old trucks. One says salt. Whoops. There we go. One says salt. One says peppa. They are made in Japan, but they're later made in Japan with the plastic stoppers. Those are cute. I got some Washington, D.C., U.S. Capitals. I may put those with the other U.S. Capitol ones. Then we've got some sailboats made in Japan. Cork bottoms. Man size, yes. Over 500 sets. Wow. Of course, we have some cows. Actually, those look like baby cows. They're calves. 
just marked with a B and an A. A and B on the bottom, so I'm not sure what that means. I'm going to end up going through all of these, you guys. As long as you want to hang out, we'll hang out. <laughs> Yeah, and I totally, totally, totally forgot. I didn't even monetize this video yet, so no commercials for you guys. Flowers are not back yet. I'm not sure where they went and how long they intend to uh, tie up my evening. Oh, we've got some more. These are North Carolina lighthouses. We got more souvenir ones. For which ones? The salt and peppers. What do you? What? 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 See that old lag? I say something, and you guys are responding about thirty seconds after I say it. We have some. Oh, these are pretty rough, but. Little Coca-Cola can salt and peppers missing. One of them has their, oh, and it's a really weird little stopper. So I'm not sure how much that diminishes the value. And then look at these. These are, they're like celluloid. They are willy nilly. They're willy nilly penguins. And they're, they feel like a, a celluloid plastic is what they feel like to me. Oh, they have a, Dayton, Ohio, mold, mold and dye something USA, made in USA. They are my kind of marked on there. Those are cute. Willy nilly. Let's get up there. All right. More salt and peppers or preview of other things in the sale tomorrow. Because I'm going to try to finish this up before the plumbers come back so we don't have a bunch of barking dog noise on this. Because I have a feeling they're going to be pulling up any minute. Can you tell me. Or you want me to look up willy nilly? I can look up willy nilly after I show you these really cool tree. They're like chunks of a tree. Um, here lies Mary. She loved chocolate malt. Her biggest problem was lack of salt. Here lies Joe. He was a fast stepper. His one big fault, he didn't use pepper. These are 1966. That was a pretty cool. All right. You want me to look up willy nilly? Willy nilly. Oh, we got to get out of. All right. We'll just do this. Willy nilly salt. It's going to come back with nothing. I have to get out of that. There we go. Oh, 10 bucks for willy nilly. Let's go see. Well, zero results for willy. See, there are no other salt. Like, why? A oh, willy and millie? It's not willy and millie. Is it willy and millie? Willy? It is Millie. <laughs> it's Millie. Okay. I, it, Millie would make more sense. <laughs> okay. Willie would make more sense. But whatever. We'll go with it. Oh, were they like a cool promo? Here we go. We got, we got sellers doing it right. Let's go. Let's go. So they were a an advertising promo. Yeah, that's a 15. 15. 10 to 15. All right. Not as great as I thought they would be. Okay. Preview. Let's, let's see what the consensus says. Preview, 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 preview. Okay. So here's what I have to do now. I have to, I have to, and I have to try to get my phone back on here. Okay. Come here, phone. All right. Let me see if I can get my phone back on here. I think I can. I think I can. Okay. There's going to be an echo for a second. Let me fix that. 
Okay, it says I'm backstage. Oh, it didn't ask me what camera I wanted. Hold on. Ah! Uh, it didn't ask me. Oh, here. Camera. We want... That one. Okay. I'm really trying to figure out how to silent. I can't silence this thing like I used to. Android did an update. It's making me crazy because they changed everything. All right. So make sure I'm not like flashing stuff on here. I don't want you guys to see <laughs> like my messy, 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 messy office. Okay. I'm going to remove. I am such a technology new. Stand by. I will get this. I know there's, I don't know how to undo the echo. Ah, oh, you're so welcome, Perfecting Pearls. I try. All right, let me, camera. I have to get the right camera first. Done. Okay. Why does it keep doing that? It keeps taking me out. <laughs> well, you know what? I go to a lot of the live sales and I, I understand their frustration when you, um... okay, when you can't win anything because of lag time and everything. Okay, let's try this. I have to bring this, this in, in and remove me, and I have to mute me. Okay. okay. I don't know where that is. Hold on. See, you're seeing my entire messy office now. Okay. I have issues, guys, because I don't know how to I'm use my left hand. I'm going to turn down. I know it's echo. You need to just shut up. Okay. <gasps> there we go. Can you guys still hear me? Are we good now? Okay. All right. So here is some of the goodies. I'm going to sell some of those. The chiming. Um, they're not really Kokeshi dolls. They're Japanese dolls. I'm going to do just some of the little fun stuff. Yes, you saw him in the picture. I will be doing him. Remember, you guys, I did this on a haul. The Seamar. The Seamar is the name. I've got some cute frogs. I'm going to do some of the vintage linens. I'm going to do the Unicorn Japan Planter. Uh, I'm going to do the smaller of the, the parquetry bowls and some frogs. The frogs were donated by one of my viewers uh, to sell in the live sale and raise funds for the Niche Foundation. Super, super awesome. Um, the nice little wood bowl. A lot of people asked me about those candle holders that I found. So I'm going to sell the wheat candle holders. And I'm going to be adding more to this as well as like a bunch of the salt and peppers. But there is your preview, folks. If you want to do a little homework and see what you can sell things for. All right. Now I have to try and switch me. Ah, you can't hear me if I don't unmute my mic. <laughs> oh, something happened with an offer up. 
Uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Um, you know, I started out with the, the Facebook live sales and kind of had some practice of what all went on by doing those over there before I started to do them on YouTube. And I, I like to study a lot of what others are doing and see, oh, that works really good. Yeah, let's take that piece. Oh, that doesn't work so good. Let's not do that. And then find my own spin and mix of it. Um, plus, working for an auction house, I have that auction experience. I know how auctions work. So it was a lot easier for me to do that because I see a lot of anxiety around doing the offer ups, you know, and it's like for me, I'm like, it's just another way to sell. Um, but not everyone has that experience. So it's got to be a learning experience. Thank you. It's very sweet of you. So we will be doing our sale tomorrow as usual. And if anybody is still waiting for a package from me, I finally, I finally <laughs> got caught up. <laughs> I got so behind. It was stressing me out on the shipping. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I don't like being behind on anything. I like order and cycles of things. So this has been a very stressful move. Because, and it's like, I don't know if you guys saw when I was kind of like, floating. this room I'm in right now is a mess. And it's making me crazy. Got to get it under control. But pretty soon I'm going to be able to show you that. We'll be able to show you my nice room. I found a fairy lamp. I got a fairy lamp and I don't know what I did with it. Thank you for that reminder. I have to figure out what I did with that fairy lamp. Somebody please find my brain. It's missing right now. <laughs> I will get back to normal soon. Absolutely. Wowza. Yes, I am determined to get back to normal. I'm trying to get all the things fixed in this house. Like literally the landlord gave me less than an hour's notice that the plumbers were coming over to fix this bathroom faucet issue. And like I said, they've been here since 530. Glad that's her bill. Um, and then next week she told me that they're coming to drain the swimming pool on Friday. And I said, well, they need to come before noon. She goes, oh, it's fine. Just leave the gate open. I'm like, no, they need to come before noon. <laughs> so they're going to be draining the pool so that they can put in, um, what's it called? An, uh, anti-entrapment screens over the drain because right now the drain is just the the drain tubes sticking up which is illegal uh which she didn't like finding out so huh. i did not ask jordan about the missing jewelry because i'm sure it's here somewhere i'm sure it's here somewhere i am going to drive back out to san diego um in a few weeks I'm going to drive because I have a car that can drive now <laughs> and gets 30 miles per gallon. Still getting used to it though. It's, um, I just found out that I have to get new tires. I wasn't really thrilled about that, but oh, well, I'll get new tires. It's okay. I got the car so far under market price that if I have to spend a few dollars on it, it's okay. Yes, no more TSA. I won't. I, I don't know how much I'm gonna fit in it to bring home. So, will you be showing us your new one? My new car. I showed it. I showed it in my video. Which video was that? Two days ago. If you watched the video from two days ago, it was in there. Uh, what do they say? Uh, it, imitation is the greatest compliment or something like that. There's a famous line like that. 
but is anybody else starting their stuff at one dollar? <laughs> That's the thing I love doing, starting everything at a dollar. Yeah, a tire's going to be a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah, it's the greatest form of flattery. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Okay. Sometimes I'm like, I read something. Okay, you guys are talking among yourselves. Okay. Imitation is the best form of flattery. Yes, yes. So a lot of stuff you have to learn. And, and I see this, I see this in threads in my Facebook group too, about worrying about what the competition is doing. And honestly, if you look at any, any successful person, any successful business, they didn't get there by worrying about what the competition would do. You got to be aware of what your competition is doing. But if you change your path based on what someone else is doing, you're going to get off track. You're going to get distracted. So you need to set your goals, set your plan and stay fine tuned, focused, keep your eye on the ball. And if other people copy and do things, uh, Hey, it's okay. It's okay. That means you're doing something right. It means you're doing something right. Is it Marge West? The no E is throwing me, but hello, Canada. I have a lot of Canadian friends. You don't always need to reinvent the wheel. That is true. That is true. Maybe your brain is hiding with the fairy lamp. No, it's, it's in the other room somewhere. I have a row pottery crock jar. It is a different glaze than anything on eBay. How do I price it? Higher. When you have the only one, go high. Just go high. Haven't figured out your niche yet. I bet you have one. Most people that have a bunch of stuff listed, you have a niche. Think about that stuff that like you are attracted to in the store, that stuff that you just keep pulling and, and wanting to sell. That's your niche. Your mechanic gets tires for your pilot for about 125 each. Yeah, that's what it was for my SUV. Like the tires on my SUV were like, six hundred dollars for when i had to put tires on that thing yeah these and uh, they get you because i can get the tires for like 60 bucks a piece but then you got to pay like 20 bucks a piece to have them mounted and balanced and yada de yada de except they want to they want to charge me a disposal fee for the ones i take off and i'm going to say no i want them i'm going to make planters out of them Give me my tires. <laughs> Your niche is seeing, is anything I see others actually selling, not just listing? <laughs> Be careful with that. Be careful with that. Buy what I like to. Yeah, I might. Mean, I buy what I like, especially with art, because I know that it's going to be sticking around for a while. Do you have a Sam's Club? I do, but I don't have a membership. Yeah, exactly. Use them for potatoes garden. Yeah, I'm going to keep these little tires because they're manageable. Like my old tires, like those things were beasts. I couldn't have done anything with those oh, truck tires. These are like those cute little low profile, you know, things. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. Before the uh, before the plumbers come, are they coming back or what is going on? This is crazy. They've been gone a long time. I'm wondering now. I said they'd be back. Anyway, all right, guys. How's the unpacking going? It's going. I didn't get done today what I wanted to get done today, but tomorrow's another day. So there it is. All right, everyone, I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time for the live sale. And uh, yeah, go be profitable and make it fun and have a great rest of your evening. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Bye.